Hello everyone, this is Displace and today I'm going to be showing you how to get probably the best leveling item in Season of Discovery so far, the Cozy Sleeping Bag. The Sleeping Bag allows you to get up to 3% additional XP for 2 hours. This is a reusable item, which is why I recommend you getting it as soon as possible so you can level that much easier. Before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. It helps my channel grow, which allows me to keep helping even more people. So let's get into the video. The quest chain is super easy, and it actually doesn't require you to do anything more than complete a few quests. The biggest thing for this quest chain is that you'll be running back and forth across the world, which can take some time. However, I think the benefits outweigh the time spent. The Horde and the Alliance have opposite first steps, which I'll explain as we go. So if you're Horde, you're going to be starting in the southern part of Barrens, just south of Camp Tarajo. Here, you're going to find a burn tower. So what you're going to do is you want to go here, click on the burned out remains. This is going to put you on the quest and the note you found. So if you're Alliance, this is actually going to be your second step in the quest chain. So you're going to need to do step two first and then come to the barons to do this part. For step two, we're going to be going to Westfall. So for Horde, the easiest way is to take the Zeppelin to Gromgal, jump off into the water, and swim up to Westfall. However, please be aware if this is during the Blood Moon because you may get killed on the Zeppelin as you're approaching Gromgal. So just be, be aware of that. Once we get to Westfall, we're actually going to be going to the Alexton Farmstead, which is shown here. So again, if you're Alliance, this is going to be your first step, and then you're going to need to go uh, complete step one after this. Once we get here, make your way over to the pile of smoking rubble towards the top of the field. There's going to be another burned out remains. Click on it to complete the quest and to get the next one called Stepping Stones. This is going to take you to Stone Talon Mountains. When you get here, just north of Sunrock Retreat, there's going to be a path up the mountains. It's pretty easy to miss if you're not looking for it, but it's right here on the map. From here, follow the path until you get to an abandoned campground. It's a pretty long trail, so if you don't see it immediately, just keep going. Once you get to the campground, click on the pocket litter to complete the quest and get the next one called Scramble. After that, you're going to need to go to the north of the campground. You're going to pass a small grave. You're going to have to jump down to a mound of dirt that you need to interact with. Just a side note, when you get over there, you can't get back to the campground which means if you don't have a portal and your hearthstone is on cooldown, you're gonna need to drop down and run back around to get to the main path. Interacting with the dirt mound uh, will complete the quest with some nice rewards and give you the quest wet job. Now we're on to the next step, which takes us all the way to Lachmadon. This is probably the longest part of the entire quest chain if you're Horde. If you are, this is gonna require you to go to Torn Mill, then run through Arathi Highlands, and then run through Wetlands. If you're running, be careful of an elite pat of Alliance soldiers in Arathi Highlands. At level 25, they are skulls, and they will kill you. This run took me almost an hour to fly from Stone Talon Mountains to Org, get the Zeppelin to the Undercity, fly to Torn Mill, and then run to Loch Madon. If you can, I would highly recommend seeing if someone is selling a portal there. Once at Loch Madon, you're going to need to make your way to the center of the dam. If you're Horde, be careful of the level 30 Elite Alliance soldiers. Once you're there, you're going to drop down two steps, and there's going to be a little eagle statue that you need to interact with. It's kind of hard if there's a group of people, so you might need to zoom in to see it. Clicking on the statue is going to allow you to turn in the quest and give you the final quest in the series. From here, we're going to need to go back to the border of Arathi Highlands. So you can either drop down off of the dam and run back, or if you have your hearth set somewhere close, you can hearth somewhere, fly back to Torn Mill, and run to the wall that separates Arathi Highlands from Hillsbrad. 
Once you're back in Hillsbrad, you're going to make your way to the wall that separates the Rathi Highlands from Hillsbrad Foothill. There's a break in the wall towards the north part. So from here, you're going to have to parkour your way up to the, the first part of the wall. Um, so you're going to have to jump on this cart to get up to that first part of the wall. This is probably the hardest part I'm um, getting from the cart to the wall, as you can see. Um, it can be uh, really difficult, and there's been quite a few people that have gotten frustrated with this. Uh, the trick is to aim towards the corner of the wall as you're jumping. So as you can see, I made it up here. Uh, once you get to the top, there's going to be another set of obstacles you're going to need to jump on. Um, so make your way over to the corner here and jump up these large rocks. Getting it just right is the key, as you can see. Um, and again, it's not as difficult as the cart, though. Uh, once you get up here, there's going to be one final thing, which is jumping up to the top. You can't jump straight up. You're going to need to use that wooden plank uh, that you see over there. So make your way back. And what you're going to want to do is jump to on the corner of the plank. And there you go. You're at the top. Just make your way through the archway to the other side. There's a lot of stuff in this archway but nothing really that you can interact with in here except for some of the books um, at the end. And these books are nothing new. You know, we got the Second War um, and Beyond the Dark Portal. Those are all normal books that you can find in other places. So once you're on the other side of the archway, you're gonna to wanna to click the bag that's hanging on the wall. This is going to allow you to complete the quest. Once you complete it, the last part of this quest is just to accept this quest and then click on the sleeping bag that's right below the bag. Clicking on the sleeping bag is actually what's going to finish the entire quest line and give you that sleeping bag. And that's it. Quest line done. The sleeping bag is all yours. In order to use the sleeping bag, you just have to click on it from your inventory. This is going to lay it down wherever you're standing. And all you have to do is walk over the sleeping bag to start sleeping. You don't have to click on it or anything, which, which I thought was kind of weird. But after you sleep for a minute, you're going to see a buff. This buff stacks up to three times, with each stack giving you 1% additional XP. The bag does have a three-hour cooldown timer, and that cooldown starts when you place the bag down. So I always recommend stacking your buff uh, to three times. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts of this quest chain are in the comments below, and I'll see you in Azeroth.